but I know the DJ. Do you? You gotta have, you gotta 90s, baby, stand up. I'm coming back because I'm blowing in it. Pause to take my craft. Serious. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Get the hell out yeah. of here. I don't, I don't know you shit. Uh, runs a show over there, so they're like, oh, Italian kids? Bring them in. So, like, they were giving us drinks there, and then we went to dinner and just got Dude, you must have been wrecked. Yeah, yeah, I was annihilated. <laughs> yeah, the whole time I was like, fuck, I should have brought nips to this shit. Dude, I mean, it's sick, though, because I think over COVID was when they, um, at, or after COVID was when they started doing the beer gardens that never used to be like there. Like the pop-up ones that they have, like yeah, the floating you, ones? Yeah, literally. Yeah, but you can't leave it. You have to drink it in it. Yeah, That's but the only thing. So still, I was like, still, oh. It's still a good time because yeah, yeah. people watch and shit, you know? Yeah, but like, because I got there early with, with Emma, my little one, and mm-hmm. I was like, yo, like, I'm going to grab a drink before, like, mom gets here and fucking bitches me out. And, um... But I just wasn't thinking. Like, mm. I saw and it was also hot, and I was just like, yo, like, uh, uh, an Italian lemonade was sound, sounds amazing right now. So I got one, and then I try and, like, walk out and just, like, walk around with it and just keep it pushing. And dude saw me, he's like, yo, like, you can't leave with that. And I was just like, oh. I was like, that makes sense. I was like, fuck, I'm so stupid. So it was a big alcoholic yeah. moment where I just, like, had to slam it. Because Emma was just, like, waiting for me. Yeah. So I just, like, slammed it. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> give me two. Hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ready. Welcome to episode 75, but a uh, but I, well, let me run that back. Run it back, Turbo. Hey, I'm gonna do, 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 do. Take the headphones off the table. Nah, because I keep kicking you. No. Because the thing is right here. Why? Welcome to episode 75 of But I Know the DJ, the original New England podcast discussing all things DJing, music, nightlife, business, and pop culture to the unfiltered pains of host snacks. Fuck. Hi, right, it's up. You missed it. Give me snacks, baby. Oh, wow. I know. I'm here. Going to the fucking gym. DJ's fingers, fingers and Cami V. DJ Cami V. Powered by Dope Entertainment, and this episode is sponsored by Jim's Market. Jim's Market, baby. Jimmy's Playhouse. Jim's Market kindly, very kindly hooked us up with some uh, some grub today, and it's fucking amazing. So if I sound a little slow mm, and mumbly, home with the b boys, baby. It's because the b boys are sitting heavy in the sto- in the, right in the uh, stomach go right now. How Yo, you feeling? How you feeling? Oh, dude, so I've been like on the cleanse, so like. And this is your first time experiencing uh, the market. Yeah, the market, man. But yeah, I definitely want to have my asshole pause at the end of this because <laughs> it's about to come out very messy. But it was amazing. It was clean. If, if you want a good breakfast sandwich and you want to be full, head up to the gym, Jimmy's Market, man. They, 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 they kill it. Yeah, shout out uh, shout out my boy Justin, owner of Jim's Market. Uh, Jim's been around <laughs> since 76, uh, family owned and operated. He's a third generation business owner. Love it. Uh, check him out uh, on Instagram at Jim's underscore market. Fire. Home of the B-Boys, best breakfast sandwich in all of New England. And if you go, let them know that, you know, we sent you over there. Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely let them know. And it's on uh, 463 Fulton Street in Medford, so... Cammy actually has a sandwich named after him there. I do have a sandwich named after me there. It's yeah. crazy. Do you have sausage in it? <laughs> does it have know? a big Italian a sausage, sausage in it? That's what it is. Why, why do you got to be so zesty with I'm it? I'm just saying, does it have a sausage in it? <laughs> no, it doesn't have a sausage All in right, it. All right, cool. Mine had a sausage in it. But Yo, it could. Fi- <laughs> Pause. <laughs> fing- fing- fingers, his, fingers his ass off to Jim's Market. Uh. <laughs> oh, hey, but only because I've been on the cleanse. I haven't been eating bread and all that shit. So now my stomach is bread. About to- <laughs> but a lot been going on. Fingers, we miss you. You missed the last episode, man. Yeah, man. You know, I just have to get away from you guys. It's just stressful sometimes. You know, I just it, need like a that. fucking break. It'd be like that. But a lot's been going on. I know uh, Cammy just uh, was traveling a little bit with gig, the gig in Texas, gigging it in West Virginia, West Virginia, gigging Texas, it. bro, dude. Uh, well, yeah, tell us about like the the other markets and and how you approach the those those events and whatnot. Yo, so. Travel life is fucking different. It's um, tiring, right? I don't right? know how the hell you do it, bro. Because you, Yo, you do a lot well, more traveling but, than I but do. Thing but, is, but because of the experience I had, I cut it down a ton. Like last year, I did like in a month, like 12, oh. like 12 gigs in a month or something like that. I did two in a, a week span and I was yeah. like fucking toast. But yeah. yeah, bro, it's so West Virginia was unbelievable. And that was like the travel wasn't too bad because you fly to Pittsburgh, you yeah, hop in a car. It's only like, like two a hours. two hour ride yeah. from Pittsburgh and but the crowd was awesome. It was open a weekend there. West Virginia definitely got busy. Um, you know, a lot of lot of drunk college kids. Uh, yeah, so they're nuts. We, yeah, they're they're cool. nuts out there. And uh, bro, I'm gonna be honest. College Station, Texas, different, different. Like, yeah. and, and it's not even close, bro. It was the probably to date the best gig I ever done. Really, bro, Let's go. dude. And the the manager came up to me after and was like, 
Yeah, bro, he's, he goes, he's hilarious, right? He's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, the yeah, man. Yeah, 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 shout out uh, Chris, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bro, he's Chris hilarious. He goes, dude, man. he goes, those kids aren't going to be able to walk tomorrow. I go, what do you mean? He goes, they're going to have so much calf cramps from fucking jumping up and down for four hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, dude, I mean, big room. Everything's bigger in Texas, man. Yeah, it's like a 1,200-person room or something like that. Oh, this sausage is bigger in Texas. I didn't find out. You didn't have breakfast? No, I didn't, no. actually. Dude, no time. Dude, you're, I, it you're was in and you're out. Twenty you're in, you're out. both both trips were twenty four hour trips. Yeah, Jesus. that's how it is. And that travel, it was it was tough. It was like five hours to get out there, two hour car ride to get to College Station. Yeah, two two hour ride back. We slept for maybe three hours. Two hour ride yep. back. Yep, six hour wow. flight. Yeah, bro, it was. Yep. yep. Trust me, <laughs> yeah, but that's dude, it. well worth it. And you know yeah. the the venue next door was like, hey, we got to get you out here. So yeah. got that lined up. So definitely we'll be back soon. Awesome, awesome, man. How about you? What's going on? What's going on with the boys? Yeah, F- fingers and I have been uh, on the radio this month. Um, basically, uh, you know, got the call. They need some heavy hitters <laughs> to, uh, to come through the uh, to come through the spot. But uh, you know, we've had the absolute pleasure and uh, you know. Uh, great opportunity to to be on jamming this month. Yeah, um, both, both fingers and I, which it was cool. And it was Bro, always that's good. A, that's a when it's the homie, yeah. When it's the homie, it's always cool. And so we've been talking all month about you know kind of how we're doing things and and how we're uh, experiencing it. Um, what, what's your experience been like, fingers? Um, I've always wanted to like you know learn all different aspects of the industry, just because you know I'm an, uh, at heart I'm an artist. I'm a producer. You know, I'm a writer, so there's still, still things that I do now that I want to do to conquer the, you know, the industry. So radio was always a big part of that. You, know, mm-hmm. you have to know how the radio works and the ins and outs. And as far as DJ Two has always been a, a cross off my bucket list. Um, it's actually how I learned. You know, being a little kid in the car listening to those, yeah. those you know, those DJs up there like Roy oh, yeah. Barboza. So true. Yeah, going in there, doing the big Yeah, Roy, like Roy's that. still going. Yeah, Roy's still so going. So to me, Roy. it's always been a nostalgic thing for me to be on the radio. So um, it's it's surreal um, to, to, to get, you know, phone calls from people, yeah. you know. You know, videos and stuff like that. Oh, you're in the radio. It's so cool. Da, da, da. So uh, I'm very grateful. Shout out to Pub Dog. Shout out Pub Dog. Um, you know, he he's uh, you know, he he's like, hey, yo, we we need you guys. Come on, look, let's see how it goes. So we're still there, and um, we got a couple mixes coming up this weekend. Uh, so yeah. yeah, for sure, should be dope. Yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. You know, like you said, like shout out to everybody who has been listening and tuning in to to our sets and stuff like that. It's just, uh, yeah, it's really really cool to when people hit you up or like they take the pictures of being like, yo, like I'm listening yeah, you to you. That's see, fucking crazy. Yeah, give me snacks. Add, yeah, add yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick, cool. dude. Cool. Yeah, I've been tuning um, in, boys. I didn't want it to just be another mix on the radio. Yeah, I don't want it to be just another set. So that like, we we we, we want to take our time and actually put our like when you listen to his set, like you know it's him. Yeah. yeah. Listen, when without even hearing the drop, I know it's him. Yeah. Mm. But I'm not. Would I even hear my drop? You know yeah, it's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It is. That, that, is, that, is, that is very true. Yeah. So and I've, get, I've been getting a lot of. One of the biggest comments I got was like, "Hey, um, your show reminded me of the Baker Boys show." Nice. That they used to have. Yeah. If you, if you guys don't know who the Baker Boys are, like they are just this. Dude, uh, that's awesome. What at least nationally syndicated yeah. radio station where kind of how similar how like the Breakfast Club is a nationally syndicated radio station where other cities and stations just pick them up and, and they get contracted to be able to just broadcast their show that's how good they are yeah and they were like kind of like the, f- the founding fathers of kind of that process and they're uh super um, remixes and yeah like, they did dope. live shows and they did like skits like they had the personalities plus the talent like they were amazing and they still do their thing um yeah. they're all over the country probably all over the world as well yeah yep. um so yeah just to give them some context um, so that yeah so that was dope so i love it man and i, I want to see where it goes from here i mean shout out to all my guys on the radio shout out to rico suave uh he's been yep. helping me a lot too guiding me through this because he he works on the he works for iheart radio mm-hmm. um so yeah man shout out jamie shout out iheart radio um um i should you know should be on there on the weekend so if you hear this i'll be there on saturday i think you'll be on uh soon. sunday sunday nice yeah. so yeah Awesome, well deserved, guys. That's Thank you, awesome. Yeah, Thank good you. time. Let's got the boys doing work. Shout out to the boys. Boys are on fire. Right boys now. are on super fire. We're um, so back. We, we're so fucking back. <laughs> um, speaking of back, I guess. I mean, there's been a lot of uh, talk of uh, our good friend Jizzy Drake. <laughs> Just you know, obviously still on tour. I know we were trying to do. We we're there was a lot of rumors about his his album coming out, the the new uh, for all the dogs album coming out, and, uh, and we and uh, us we were trying to actually plan to do because um, they were it was uh, rumored to be coming out I think the twenty fifth yeah. of August which is just the rumor yeah and we were mm. trying to prepare to do something cool for you guys and be like yo like let's do like a live like recording 
um, of our our real reaction to like so like no one can listen to it before like stay off of social media and like we were gonna really get real raw reactions uh, for, uh, for the show and uh, we we're planning it planning to do it at my place and blah 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 <clears throat> and then the shit never dropped we all got out of our gigs and then like immediately checked Dude, Spotify and <laughs> I was off so I was like I was Burning Boy dropped so I was I was chilling with my guys so we, we were there we we bought a uh, the big boy bar of Espino we actually killed it between us three I won't talk about of what it. of Espelon? Espelon, Espelon. Jesus Christ. We kill that shit. That one, that thing is, I, I have one in my house right Fuck. now. I'm talking oh, huge, but anyways, um, uh. the shit, they put it on fucking Wikipedia that it was dropping. I, they did do that. Did they? Yeah. yeah. They did. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, you sent me that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, where I was did. like, oh, guys, it's coming, Definitely dude. Coming. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was like, yeah. I was just mad fucking amp up waiting for it, but then I'm like, yo, he never really said that he was, was dropping coming, it. Yeah. yeah, and so that was the thing is that after after the fact, when everyone's kind of disappointed and stuff, he said on his show um, that the next show that he did, he was like, hey, guys, like, <laughs> that's on you. No one fucking, I never said that this shit was dropping that day. Well, I guess because usually when Jake drops, there's usually uh, over your radio. Yep. There was an OVO radio that dropped that night. And? At 10 o'clock. And? And that's when they previewed the, the, the No, but he also posted every cover. time. He always, before, like the week of, yeah. historically speaking, he posts the album cover. Mm, and wait. everybody on his team posted the album cover. Right. So I'm like, oh, damn, he's just, he's just about to just drop this shit. Because it's building the, mo- the momentum to drop. But he's just like, okay, he's going to we'll probably wait to the end of... The, the tour Now that I'm thinking about it Probably wait for the end of the tour Probably wait for his birthday Probably wait for October um, But do you want to wait that long after I don't think it's going to be that long <clears throat> Yeah I'll be surprised I think it's going to be long. the next couple it's coming weeks. soon But obviously we don't know what that means But And how about Ye drops in October I think Ye is going to drop Whenever Drake drops <laughs> Just for shits and gigs Hot take I don't know I think Ye I think he, he, he has like no hype or rollout or anything right Ye's now Ye's kind of tired But they, they've, they've been talking There's been a lot of rumors about the Ye album as well But we'll get into he, that He's deep in a cave right now We haven't seen No antics like, There was a <laughs> part one. where we couldn't go <laughs> not not one antic. You can't think of anything. Kanye, listen. I don't think that was an not, antic. not one thing. I don't think that was an antic. I think he just got caught. Everyone, <laughs> everyone wants to. You know, obviously, everyone has their opinions on Kanye. Kanye's the fucking man. <laughs> EJ, EJ, EJ's gonna put up the 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 picture, the photo that we're talking about on the screen uh, as you're listening. Uh, it literally just dropped today that they were recording uh, just this photo. <laughs> okay, he could just be hanging this, out with his lady. He's probably sitting no, yeah, up on top. No, yeah, it's a paparazzi. It's a paparazzi He's probably photo. sitting up on top, hugging her. But yeah, it looks like... It's a paparazzi photo of... Uh, it, the funny part about it is like it's him and his wife on like in like a canoe. Like, that's so funny. <laughs> it's, dude, it's like a gondola. It's a gondola, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's a fucking... <laughs> I'm getting head in a gondola. Thousands, thousands of people around in the channel, bro. I'm getting fucking top in a fucking yeah, gondola. Yeah. And, 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 bro, and even the caption is like... Kanye. Yeah, and even the caption is like, you know, Kanye West getting... Uh, Get, what, what, fuck, what did he say? It was, it was like his wife. Yeah, and his wife. Yeah. Whatever the fuck her name is. Getting um, top. Yeah, and, it, it's, and it, it, what it looks like, what it appears. Allegedly. Allegedly is uh, she's giving them that, that sloppy toppy. That fellatio. That fellatio. But it's so funny because the pictures, it's like Kanye being like, who? <laughs> Bro, he's and he has like the, the scarf, and he has yeah. like a scarf covering. We're like, we know that's you. Yeah, you horny ass motherfucker. But it's fucking, yeah, he's the fucking man. So I guess he is still in, inevitably, still in the, in the headlines. Kanye, 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 Kanye. Were like there, There's rumors that he's working on an album. Um, heavy rumors. Heavy rumors that, um, so what he's basically, he's not going to be using, which I thought he would. There's still some songs off, off Yandi that I wanted him to use, mm. but like, I guess he's not going to use them. And then the Donda 2 has some crazy joints on there, but he's not going to use He's like the king of fucking dropping songs that are fucking amazing. But like, hey, this is this will probably change the world. But no, delete but it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Yeah, yeah. I don't need it. <laughs> but that's how fuck? good his you, shit you is. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking too. Um, fuck man. Just, just think about like Michael Jackson, like all the like all. There's the a lot of music that Michael Michael never dropped. He but said like, he they, made like, over he made over a hundred songs every album and picked. Twelve, right? But think about it. Like since since his passing, like w- there's been like breadcrumbs of like all his stuff, like the the posthumous mm-hmm. stuff, right? So yeah. with with Kanye, dude, imagine all the songs that he has in the vault. Oh my God. I mean, they're, they're like about there's it. like New Body, which is a which is one of the leaks. That was pretty dope. Yeah, the, mm-hmm. I, 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 yeah, I like yeah. that one. A lot. One like of my that. favorite leaks is is um what's it called um what's it called uh, no um last name was part of one of my favorite leaks. Hurricane ended up coming out mm-hmm. on yep. the album. That was fire. Which was fucking dope. But but anyways, this album they said he's using all older songs 
that he's that he's already worked on that are not out, and he's making and he's them revising better. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so he's talking about we're talking about my dark twisted fantasy era. We're talking about uh, the the life of Pablo era, and we're talking about Jesus era. It's gonna be so fucking really. Hot. That's 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 what that's that's what, what the um, rumor project is. So there's just like uh, oh, I'm easy excited. shit, and then like, yeah. there's like real critical easy fans that. But I'm excited for that. So if that if the year ends off like that, that's amazing. Be a good year. And, the, and if Uzi drops again, which yeah. he might drop, yeah. supposedly it's supposed to be this, 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 better than the other one. We say and that you, every time. What, they say that every time. Yeah, they do say that every time. What's the fucking name of it, too? It's something ridiculous. Barter, Barter 16. He's trying to, like, uh, yeah. doing the Carter and then what Young Thug did <laughs> yeah. because Lil Wayne got pissed at him. But but, but speaking yeah. of, of, of hip-hop albums dropping, we, we had the Travis Scott new record. Or was, is it a new record or matching record of uh, four weeks straight, number one? With Num- Utopia, yeah, number, uh, yeah, for best best hip hop album but, four weeks straight. And then, first my, time. and then my rebuttal to that was, well, what what has dropped since to, to dethrone him? Nothing, right? Nothing. nothing. So it's kind of easy to, to stay on top when there's nothing pulling you down. Well, smart, smart time for him to drop. It's just the highest quality of music we've heard since Donda. I'm not even a big Donda guy to be honest. As with far you, as so. mainstream hip hop. Or in the Nas album, but what you know a, what I'm talking about—the heavy hitters. What in the about industry. Kendrick's album? Was that after? Yeah, it was after. Don't that, and, uh, that was after. And, 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, no, honestly, was never mind. And, after and honestly, never mind. Right. The best album of all time. Or uh, or uh, her loss too. Well, we also got to put into to to think that like uh, Travis got a fucking call, bro. Yeah. And the bundles and all that shit, so that all goes together. But as far as the streaming record, I think he passed Drake. I think so. Yeah, I think with this album. Oh no! Him. Oh, did he pass? Oh, I don't know. Was it Drake? Some he passed somebody. I think yeah, it was yeah. Drake. But um, for for streams, listen, Jizzy's gonna drop, and the whole industry is gonna stop, and the whole world's gonna stop for Jizzy. We know that fucking shit. So, um, yeah. speaking of uh, <laughs> for all the dogs, though, um, I I was uh, reading something about the album cover, and as we know, it's uh. Ad- Adonis' son's drawing. He's a five year old, um, and it's a drawing that he made of of a dog. Mm-hmm. I thought um, it was a horse at first <laughs> until I saw. It. I did. I thought it was, I'm just saying. I thought it was a horse at first. You don't look at that middle really? dog. I mean, I'm not. I'm just he's saying. Five. I, I'm not. I'm just saying. I thought it was a horse at first. Oh shit! Yo, yo, ha- has your kid ever drawn you? Something like crazy, you're like oh, it's me and you, dad. And you look at it, you're like oh, yeah, sick. Yeah, I'll put it like right on the fridge. That should look just like me, though. He's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my son's nasty. Apparently, Drake. The reason why, I mean, I'm sure that there's obviously the sense of mental value of the fact that hey, like my son's gonna yeah. make this album cover yeah. that's gonna live forever. But apparently, I was reading this thing that like um, there's also the, a whole financial reason too, because now his now Adonis just as a as a person gets kickback off of this album, oh. just like DJ Even, Khaled, just. Like yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I guess, and then I was reading into it, it's complicated with financial stuff, like uh, included like a Roth IRA, so royalties and, and, and shit, loyalty, royalties, yeah, yeah. So he gets T-shirts and all the merch, whatever, the, whatever. Yeah, get a lot. Which, which, which is uh, you know, again, which it could be Drake smart. being Drake, or it could be just a coincidence. I'm sure Drake would have done that kind of otherwise, you know, yeah. and just being like, hey, this is my son, and I love him, and I want him to have his moment, which I think is cool. But I do think that Drake has a track record of having horrible album covers. He's had great album covers up until. I mean, Thank Me Later was not good. I I, th- I think I thought he had pretty iconic album covers. So I far, think Gone just... is I think his best album cover, or it's not even an album. So far, Gone. The yeah. the kid on top of yeah. the thing, yeah, and it's like yeah. the silhouette. That's just fire. Yeah. Nothing was the same. You didn't like it in the clouds. <sighs> I think it's I, iconic, I guess, but like I don't think it's that. Like, I think after if you're reading this, it's too it's too late. It like sharp decline. Yeah, if you're in this certified lover boy, might be my least favorite yeah, album cover of all time. Fuck. Yeah, that was stupid as fuck. The emojis with the uh, yeah, yeah, nah, that, nah, I'm nah, like I this. I fucking I, lo- I actually really enjoy that album. I'm like I just fucking hate looking at that album. Yeah, that cover. shit was dumb as fuck. What's your favorite album cover of all time? Oh, yo, the thing is, I've thought about this question before years ago, but damn, I need to really think about this. Top three. I got one off the top of my head. Yeah. Carter three. That's a really good one. With Lil, okay. Lil wow. Wayne's kid yeah. picture with the yeah. tattoos yeah. on his yeah, face. Yeah, that one's fucking. Did, okay. Do you remember when I did that for my birthday? Yeah. I DJ'd that. Yeah, yeah that yeah, was fucking yeah, sick. Yeah, that yeah. was sick. That was, that was fucking sick. Um, probably Dark Side of the Moon. Pink Floyd is up there. Um, yep. I, th- I think. Uh, graduation. Honestly, oh, yeah, graduation. Mm, that's a good, a really one. good yeah, one. Yeah, that's, that's iconic. But, but I think I think Fantasy might be better for me. 
Cause it had the multiple covers. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I think that is just like the concept. I think is cool. There's just the whole artwork behind my Dark Twisted Fantasy. It was just amazing. But, but I think I, was dude, the rollout for that too was just Nuts. everything was like so perfect. Nuts. But I think if we think, I think most of the best album covers we're gonna really, if we really think about it, are gonna come from like the vinyl era, because that's when that was your selling point. Yeah, the true. way that yeah. that record looked like when yeah. some people are in a record store and going through it. That's why. I think, you know, and then even the CD era too, but like, I think that's why album artwork has had such a decline in the last 20 years. Yeah, because you're not really, you're going online and like, you're just going to download and, or just stream the, the album there. You're not really, don't have anything tangible to look at and hold. And it's kind of, it was kind of a collectibles item, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To go to the store. I think, and, I think what's interesting, I think what's is. interesting too is like now that Spotify, like when you're on a song, it's some, sometimes for certain artists, now it shows like a video. Like, yeah, to have a little video. Yeah, those are fire. Those they are, they are kind of cool, but I'm like, I think they're fire. I think when they're good, yeah, when they're like really good. It's, when they're yeah. good is dope. I, I understand that, but it's just like um, the industry, as far as like tangible things, like it's just the industry is just ever since streaming, it just went to shit mm. for me. Um, yeah, we get the music quicker that way, and it's uh, right at the tip of your fingers, and it allows people to. Upload and, and and be a part of the shit, but it also allows a lot, a lot of bullshit to be uploaded online because they want things to can drop an album. But yeah, man, as far as the creation of music and stuff like that, I love where the technology has gone to, but it's just made it so super easy for anyone to just go and just to go buy a studio setup and do it, which is cool. It's great, but it just I feel like it waters down everything and it just doesn't make it seem as like. The process as great so that there's a lot of motherfuckers that just cut corners these days with music and it's just like and i think the reason why hip-hop is at, at where it's at right now is because as far as labels and the labels are not putting money into the projects anymore because mm-hmm. a lot of people going independent a lot of people are finding ways to just employ their their own people so it's just like with the, the money's not funneling funneling back into the into the the the, the labels anymore a lot of people are trying to find ways to get to come make it come back about back around to them. Well, that's actually interesting <laughs> you say you. that because we snacks and I had a conversation about this, actually specifically involving the radio and how like these labels are pumping money to the radio station for them to to play songs for artists. And also, what I didn't realize is that there's a correct me if I'm wrong. There is a kickback to the artists. So I, so I don't think so. I think the way it works is. Label uh, pays radio station X amount of dollars to play song A. Song A gets played on the radio station as essentially advertisement because they're going to be making their their sales on album sale. They're, they're going to be making money on album sales and streams. That's my understanding of it because I'm like, why I would... I won't speak on it. Ra- radio streams are, are... I don't know if this is the right way to word it, but are worth more than... Uh, yeah, but what, but what does that mean though? Because the label is paying the radio station to play these songs. I I can't. I don't know. I I can't confirm or deny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I'm like the the conversation. The conversation was rumor. <laughs> rumor is the radio pays the artist. Okay. Rumor. Okay. Gotcha. Rumor. All gotcha. I know is. I DJ on the radio. You can find me on Gemini Bro. Five. That's all I fucking know. I love the fucking radio. You fucking turn it on. The music is right fucking there. You don't gotta fucking go look through a playlist and nothing. Especially when you got me and my fucking snacks. You just gotta time it right that on the true. motherfucking radio. Catches we on there, baby. Give you a little shout out or something. Chat, no. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm still on the album cover thing. Um, Pusha T's uh, album cover. The the the, the what is it, the Whitney Houston? Whitney Houston room. The, uh, fuck. Uh, what's the bathroom? That's the, Daytona. Daytona. Is that Daytona's album? Yeah. Yo, that shit was fire. That was fire. That shit was hot. That was fire. And uh, so big, in yo, the big fuck, record at the end. Yeah, that one's fire. Yeah, I yeah. didn't notice that line on um on that uh, Jack Harlow song that Drake did, did which was talking was about that? Daytona shit. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Daytona with the faces. I was just going through like epic lines, epic Church, like, uh, verses. Churchill Downs. Yeah, Churchill, Churchill Downs. Downs and shit. I'm like, oh shit. Trick is a sneaky motherfucker, bro. Super sneaky. Super sneaky. Sneaky, bro. sneaky. You want to talk about sneaky? 
Fucking former President Donald Trump is out here on these streets. He's in these motherfucking streets. He's fucking holding down. P.O.P. <laughs> holding the fucking shit down. His motherfucker don't get no fuck. He wouldn't get no money to goddamn Ukraine. Put the money right back in the hood. Put the money right back in the street. What the fuck is Joe Biden doing walking up? God damn shit falling on the motherfucking floor. Looking like he's sleeping when he's talking. That's all, folks. You want to talk about Joe? Yo, listen. Y'all motherfuckers don't know shit about Trump. Trump out here putting these motherfuckers on spotlight. Yo, check that bitch's emails, yo. <laughs> that motherfucker, that dude's son, cocaine head, motherfucker, right there, son, in the White House doing coke off the table. Come on, cuz. Shout out Trump, man. Free my dude Trump. He's already out, but free my dude Trump. <laughs> yo, buy the merch. <laughs> dude, next next episode, I'm going to be wearing a Trump 2024 shirt. Please get him a Trump shirt. With the mugshot. Shirt. Give me a goddamn MAGA hat, baby. I'm out here, bro. You want to cut the taxes in your head, cuz? For, former President Donald Trump turned himself in last Thursday night at the Fulton County Jail to be booked on felony charges in connection with efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election results in Georgia. The arrest was Trump's fourth... Dude, he's out here, bro. Even, does Tupac even have that many? <laughs> that's wild. Uh, since, since April, and it was the first time he or any former U.S. president had his mugshot taken. Yo, the mugshot's been everywhere. Yo, the, the Barbie Dude. memes with the mugshot Yo, had me crying. Much. Bro, it's funny. It's fucking funny. Um, the, what a great picture, the though. Bookings, the booking took place in a state that was largely ground zero for his bogus stolen election claims despite enormous pushback against him from the Republic, Republican governor and top election officials in a state that he had won in 2016. Trump's continued ins- insistence that the election results could not be trusted helped cost Republicans control of the U.S. Senate in a runoff Speak election about in January true, Trump. 2021. Speak about fucking true Trump. They found a fucking, they found a they found a truck full of mad ballots and shit. They found they found the bag with the ballots. They found a bag of ballots and shit. They found a boat of ballots, bro. Where you find a boat of ballots from, son? Come on, son. Tell the fucking truth. Where you find a boat of ballots, bro? Come on, bro. Kanye, Kanye was on oh, all the money with here that we shit, go. son. Here we go. Dude. Here we go. Where, where's the bag of the Kanye ballots? Huh? <laughs> where, nah, where was Kanye, the Kanye was never gonna win. Hey, yo, my, <laughs> my dude, my dude, Trump didn't even show up to the debate, son. He's like, I don't even gotta fucking be there, bro. I'm running for president. I don't even gotta be there, cuz. And I'm proud to be an American, motherfucker. My president's orange, nigga. <laughs> My president is orange, son. Orange. Could uh, could could, could orange be the new black? <laughs> Not chill. Black power till we die. You know what I'm saying? But you know what's fucking nuts? The only person that 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 didn't get bonded out was a fucking black guy. <laughs> out of all the people wait, that wait, got indicted wait, with mean? Trump. Out of every person getting daddy with Trump, there was, there was this one black guy that did not get bonded out. He's actually still in jail to this day. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Hell, he didn't do his dirty, bro. Hell, hell of a system we got. Oh, my <laughs> fucking yeah, we, we, God. We it don't works. Like, we don't like to get political on this show. It but, fucking but, works. But it is crazy how, like, Trump is kind of wild. Like, when we think about um, presidential, like, cons- not conspiracy, like, um... Like uh, fuck, like uh, what's the word? Controversy. Controversy. Thank you so much. You know, we we had a uh, slick Willie getting head in the office, like, yeah. a, like a real like a real fucking president yeah, should. Get a ski and, and, uh, on the blouse. You the can't gondola. get the yeah. ski skeet on the blouse, dog. You ain't know what you gotta do, bro. <laughs> Come on, dog. You gotta get it on a little napkin. You got over there, son. You get on the blouse, cuz you she gonna walk out the door like you got a little ski skeet on the blouse. Ain't nothing. You know what I mean? Come fucking, on, fucking Jeez. JFK clapping Marilyn Monroe's cheeks. Oh my Jeez, god, I would have done the same thing, son. Yo, we're on the street. The wifey was called a hit on him. Like, yo, he clapping cheeks. Crazy. We get the beam on him. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and yo, what, uh, what, what? And we what? had and we had Richard Nixon with the uh, with the oil gate. Yeah, so he was out here yeah. with the Saudis going nuts. <laughs> what a, oh my God! He was out here with the Saudis going. Hit the money, no, 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 stop, stop. You're cut off. You're done. To turn off his mic. Where's, which one's? Were you mic three? Saudi? Were you mic three? Yeah. That's not from Saudi. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, <laughs> we're not getting canceled. We're not getting. Canceled. We're not doing this. Today. Not today. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I got my Punjabi gang, gang in a bit. You already know what it is, baby. You come on, man. I'm, I'm like three percent Indian. It's all good. China, no. China, no. China, no. <laughs> Yo, Jimmy's Market, baby. That's the best fucking sausages you ever fucking eat in your life. They put it in the fucking bread with the fucking hash browns. Ah, oh, it's fucking dope. 
We gotta end this episode. Fingers is off the fucking rails. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah. Episode seventy five. Jim's market shout. Jim's market. Vote for Jim's market. Trump. Vote for Trump. Baby. No, dude. So we're stop. We're huh? not stop. Oh. Cut this dude. Off. I'm taking your I'm mic. I'm trying off. to make America great again. Stop. All right. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,